Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about Louise Brooks. I've also created this makeup look inspired by her. Mary Louise Brooks was born on the 14th of November 1906 in Kansas, USA. Her father was a lawyer and her mother was an accomplished pianist. When Louise was nine years old, she was sexually assaulted by a neighbour and later her mother suggested that it must have been Louise's fault for leading him on. The event continued to have damaging psychological effects on Louise's personal life and career and made her develop intense distrust in men. She said she was incapable of real love, explaining that nice, soft, easy men were never enough. There had to be an element of domination. Louise started her career as a dancer and by the time she was 11 she was performing in front of audiences at the local opera house. And in 1922 she signed with a dance company in LA. But when Louise was 17 she was fired from the dance company because of personal conflict and rivalry between her and one of the dance troupe's founders. She was fired in front of the other dancers being told, I'm dismissing you from the company because you want life handed to you on a silver salver. This moment struck with Louise throughout her life. Louise then landed work as a chorus girl in George White's Scandals, then in 1925 she was also a featured dancer in Ziegfeld Follies. As a showgirl, Louise posed for some photos that were considered very risque. This resulted in a scandal, and soon the nation had heard of Louise Brooks and her pictures. Louise caught the attention of famous actor Charlie Chaplin, and they had a short affair. Louise also caught the attention of Walter Wanger, a producer at Paramount Pictures, and in 1925, Louise signed a five-year contract with the studio. She made her screen debut in the silent film, The Street of Forgotten Men. It was an uncredited role, but soon she was playing the lead female role in a number of silent films. Louise's beauty attracted a lot of attention from both men and women, Women wanted to look like her and her daring sleek bobbed hair was requested by women across the country. In 1929, Louise left Hollywood and went to Germany, whose film industry was just as big as Hollywood's. Here Louise starred in perhaps her most well-known films, Pandora's Box and Diary of a Lost Girl. The films made her an international star and she became one of the most erotic figures on the screen. When audiences and critics first saw Louise's German films, they were confused by her naturalistic acting style, saying she doesn't act, she does nothing. But Louise was ahead of her time. Like today's actors, she opted for a subtle approach. Instead of doing overly exaggerated facial expressions and body language, like most actors of the time, she toned down the drama, thinking it was unnecessary, and soon people loved it, because her style of acting was so different, and all part of her appeal. Louise returned to Hollywood in 1931, but her performances were ignored by critics, and she refused to make a talkie film. In 1932, Louise declared bankruptcy, and began to dance in nightclubs to earn a living. Louise did a number of jobs to make a living, including a radio actor, a gossip columnist, a shop assistant, but found that the only well-paid career was to become a courtesan, and soon an escort agency offered her a steady job. Louise fell into drinking depression, and in 1956, she moved to Rochester, New York, and became a noted film writer. Louise Brooks died on the 8th of August, 1985, at the age of 78 of a heart attack in her New York apartment. Louise married twice, but believed that she'd never actually loved anyone she'd ever been with. Louise's unique talent put her at the height of fame. She's regarded as one of the biggest icons of the 1920s. She is quoted in saying, the great art of films does not consist of descriptive movement of face and body, but in the movements of thought and soul, transmitted in a kind of intense isolation. Now I'm going to show you how I got this 1920s makeup look inspired by Louise Brooks. Louise has quite straight and short brows, so using Elmer's washable glue, I'm going to apply this to the inner and outer ends of my brows, then on top of the glue I'm applying loose powder. Over the powder I'm applying a foundation, then I'm going to repeat the powder and the foundation steps again. 
For the rest of my face, I'm using this pale, almost white BB cream, ensuring I apply this over the ends of my brows too. I'm then going to set the BB cream with the loose powder. Over the centre of my brows that haven't been covered, I'm darkening them with a black eyeshadow. For blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. Using my shade and light eye palette from Kat Von D, I'm taking this matte dark grey brown shade and I'm applying this heavily over my lids and I'm bringing the shade down at the ends. Then using a blending brush, I'm going to blend the shade out into the crease. Then using the black shade, I'm going to apply a thin line along my upper lash line. Using a black eye pen, I'm applying this along my waterline and my lower lash line. I'm then going to curl my lashes and apply my Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. For the lips I'm using Midnight Merlot from Maybelline and I'm ensuring I define my Cupid's bow. And that completes this look inspired by Louise Brooks. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!